Rap music is not a torture. As we all know, rap music is a certain type of music. And the essence of any type of music is a form of art. Any art pieces come with its own meaning and expression that the artists want to convey. I am so confused. I do not understand why some people claim that rap music is a torture simply because they do not like it. So the real question is not about personal preference because one man's meat is another man's poison. Regardless of personal bias, what the question really about is whether rap music is beneficial to individuals or the society. Rap music benefits people in different ways. For those who are introvert or are afraid of talking to others because of lack of confidence, listening to rap music enables these people to improve their self-esteem. Since most of the rap artists are extremely confident and expressive, introvert people can learn to be more confident from watching these artists' performance. In this way, they can be more expressive and they can always leave great impression to others due to their confident behavior. Besides, listening to rap music releases people's pressure. People tend to be more stressful due to the technological lifts. People are all facing so many challenges and obstacles right now. So, they need to come up with some ideas of taking care of their emotion. Listening to music seems to be a good idea. However, some people are getting bored of listening to traditional pop songs or classic music. Then the rap music would be a great substitute because the hip hop singers are much more younger and the millennials see the rappers as the representatives of themselves. Moreover, rap music help people see the true problem Rap music originated from New York in early 1970s and it was considered as music of the poor or the low class of the society until mid-1980s where the rap music reached the peak because lots of great rap artists emerged. The essence of rap music is conveying ideas through narrative lyrics and criticizing unfair social phenomenon. Listeners can develop their own critical thinking and value to society while they're listening to hip hop music since the lyrics of the rap songs are pointing to issue rather than pretending that there is no problem. Last but not the least, listening to rap music can also help with dealing mental illnesses. According to a clinical psychiatrist named Dr. Akin Su and a neuroscientist named Dr. Becky Inkaster, who make up the hip hop psych and together use hip hop to reach out to people with mental illnesses. The lyrics of hip hop greats are filled with imagery about mental illness, addiction, and overcoming struggle, which they usually they usually use a mental health awareness in prison, schools, and youth hostels. Indeed, rap music puts some negative influence on the society. Some so-called rappers consider themselves as, as artists and make songs that are completely meaningless and incomprehensible on YouTube, which gives bad examples to juveniles. However, from my perspective, these guys are not real rap artists. They just want to make money and be famous in the name of rap music. All in all, rap music, just like any other type of music, has its own meaning in audience and it should be treated equally.